Uh, this is kind of an impromptu um, episode. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to The Undertale. I was just walking back to the hotel, and also I got a random phone call. Hey, uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Pepperus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Pepperus. See ya, punk. Click. Okay. So yeah, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. I was told... Um, after the game has been beaten, to head back to the hotel. And I thought you had to talk to, like, I said something about talking to the fish lady. So we're gonna come over here. I thought it was maybe this person. They'll be at the reserve table here. Yeah, yeah. But no, I guess it was just walk back and you get a phone call from my dog. I was not expecting that, so sorry about that. I would have started the episode a couple seconds earlier. You just missed the ring ring. So I guess now I have to go to Snowden. Which I mean, you might think, oh god, it's gonna be such a long walk, but it's really not that long of a walk. Please select okay. I do wish there was a way to run faster, run through areas we've already completed. <laughs> but no, there's not. This takes three hours. Flowey also told me to see if I could talk or go talk to Elfies, so let's go see. Oh, is it locked? There's no response. Weird. That I was not expecting. Try la la, care for the ride. Snowden! Okay, I wonder who I'm dying is going to make me want to give a message to. Well, my notes do say, yeah. We will go back to the hotel, talk to the fish lady. Troll all somewhere it's Sunday, so be careful. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go back, deliver a message, and it tells me to sleep. That's pretty much it. So, come again sometime. Considering this is a cen uh, centered around Snowden. I'm assuming. Do you guys have different text now? Maybe I'll try finding phones. No, nope, I just can't do it. Okay, no, they don't. Nope, 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 nope. In front of Papyrus's house. She looks so weird without armor. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying too way too much. Oh, fine then, butthole. Let's see how this is. Blam, blam. Uh, so I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Elfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotline sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. <laughs> so here you go. You got the Undyne, Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much, you're the best. Oh, and I want to read it, but I can't. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits, so it's back to the right. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. So another thing I actually learned, um, a while ago, actually, was that when you- if you're- you're finding peppers- Hello, that's not my house. That's just my cool tool shed. Do you call it your cool shed? No! I've never thought of that! That's why we're friends, Undyne. You enrich my life with shed base puns. Okay. Um... Yeah, if you die to peppers when you fight him, he puts you in there, like, over and over again. <laughs> Like if you die, like if you keep dying to him, I think I only die like three times to him though, and then I don't know. So I guess now we go back to Hotlands. Hotlands. This my notes here also say to talk to everyone once you do this uh, deliver letter thing. So I'm really curious if um, the water is very dry today. <laughs> Shut up, jeez. <coughs> I'm very curious what this will change since everyone seems to have the same text now. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. When I inhale certain ways, it just makes me want to barf for some reason. The door has no mail slots. Slide the letter under the door. You slide! No! You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Mm. Oh, oh, no, no. Is that another letter? Is it a love letter? Oh, she's a big fan. I see. I thought it was maybe going to make a love letter. I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? Mm. No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. The heck was that? A laser? Did she just lose a laser to open it? Hey, if this is a joke, it's. Mm? Oh my God! Did you write this letter? That wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my God! Oh no! That's adorable. And I had no idea that you um wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all of the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, 
this? So passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh my god, so Undyne does have- Oh my god, no way. Dating starts again. So many dates. This game is all about dating skeletons and now weird lizard things. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> How how do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of um. Anyway, let's do this thing. This is weird. I don't like it. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating? Stop. Um, gotta give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. <laughs> but, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. <gasps> She's expecting undying your, uh, scales. Uh, well, about the- well, at least- okay, I guess she's a lizard, so she thought maybe I'd be a lizard. Well, I guess Dying's a lizard, isn't she? Huh. The magical spear repair kit that I- Oh my god, she does, like, Undying too. Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating, start! Yeah, let's, uh, date. Yay! This is pretty much how dates go, to be honest. Ah. Uh, do you like anime? Yes, I love it. Hey, me, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Oh, I'm gonna get options? I got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. The garbage dump, really? Here we are. This is where I'm dying. I come all the time. I find all sorts of great stuff here. Heh, <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no, that's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, that might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least sent it to her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I j just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you t to make you feel better. What's everyone freak dating me for? <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like even worse than I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's a person I, um, I really want to go on a date with, but I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. And I've told her so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... I'll find out the truth about me. Hmm. But what should I do? Tell the truth, of course, doll. The truth. But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie <laughs> where both people are happy? Or truth or neither of us are? They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be who makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell I'm dying the tr truth? I don't have any confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay. Obviously, let's roleplay. Obviously, let's. Yeah, ro roleplay. Uh, that actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undying? I'll be undying. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, undying. How are you doing today? I'm. F Oops, I. Oops. Ha, glad to hear. Uh, so I'd like to um talk to you about something. That she kisses you. <laughs> what? Why? I'm dying. Would never. Uh. Uh. I, I kiss her back s s softly. I, I, I look gently into her eyes. I start hollering. I'm dying. I love you. I'm dying. Kiss me again. I'm dying. What did you just say? Uh. 
I'm dying. I I was j just. Hey, whoa, wait a second. That outfit's really cute. It's the occasion. Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we're only romantically roleplaying as you. What? I mean, I mean, I'm dying. I, I've been lying to you. <laughs> what? About what? About well, everything. Ah, oh, I called that. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just use it to make ice cream. And those human history books I keep reading, those are just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those, those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. At that time, I told you I was busy working on the phone. I I was eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. That time, I Alphys. I I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. I'm dying. I I really think you're neat. Okay. Alphys. Shh. What just happened? Alphys. I think you're really neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% and maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have a lot have to lie anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Oh god. <laughs> I'm dying, you. Y you're gonna train me? Oh, hard eyes. Look at that. Pfft, what, me? Oh my god. Nah, I'm gonna get Pappers to do it. <laughs> get those bones. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog on 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying? I'll, I'll do my best. Wow, that was amazing. Oh my god! She was just kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are, those are real, still real, right? Anime's real, right? Anime is real. Why not? Ha ha ha! I knew it! Gigantic, gigantic swords! Magical princesses! Here I come! Uh, thanks for taking care of Elfies. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. And we're back here. Oh, that's what the flowers are for. It's a date. So, you know, one thing that never was explained was when I fell down here, someone asked if I was okay and all that. That was never explained, was it? Hmm. Well, we're at 13 minutes. So, if I'm correct, I think the only thing left to do here is, um... Once it's all over... Oh, it says I can sleep now. So I should sleep now, actually. Okay. Let's just do that. Ring, ring. Uh-oh! Ho Howdy! It isn't my good friend who trusts me. That's not, that's not his voice. This is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Elfies and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. <laughs> uh, now. I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason, you should also go up there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Oh my god, what is that? What is going on? I thought that was it for this. Oh god. Oh no, what happened? Tra la la, okay for right, right in the boat. Heck yes! Where we go today? And we're off! Jeez, man. Um. Huh. Huh. Uh oh, suddenly feeling tropical. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's definitely a thing to say uh oh to. Yep. Come again sometime. Sha la la. Alright, what's going on? What am I gonna see in here? Oh god. They're still watching me. That's a bit weird. So look at all that freaking coffee! Never noticed that before. Oh, Metaton. So did he die? Where'd he go? Okay. So now from Alfie's. Read it? I guess so. 
It's hard to read because of the handwriting. Oh, but you try your best. Oh no, is this? Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh, wow. Um, okay. What is this? I thought it was the bathroom. What the Bilbo Bagan balls? Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. Is this a trap? EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Did I just died? Wow, Alfie just killed me. So what she did was she killed me. Okay. What did she do? Tree number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Tree number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially, so power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides doing impractical, besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I can make a monster's soul last. Tree number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe that this is what gives souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. What is this? Jeez, man. True laboratory. It's a fake plant. Buy chips? Sure. Spend some chips. Nom 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 nom. Oh man. Well, I thought this was gonna be like a quick 15 minute thing, but apparently not. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next episode we'll explore the laboratory. The true laboratory. See you guys later. Bye!